Christmas is that magical time of year when not only carolers, but also our candid friends come a-calling. And by candid friends, I mean, of course, those people brimming with the jolly holiday spirit of telling us how wrong we are about everything and how many of our cherished Christmas traditions are pagan and evil. And these candid friends are solely motivated by their passionate commitment to honesty and truth. Let's return the gift of candidness with a little bit of good old-fashioned common sense and a dash of history. Look, just because the pagans associated something with the worship of false gods doesn't mean that the thing in itself is evil or brings honor to false gods. Think about the implications for a second. Is December pagan? Are trees pagan? Oh, look at that Christmas tree with the baby Jesus and Mary and Joseph and the manger, just like in the Bible. So pagan. Are decorations pagan? Is singing pagan? Is burning a log pagan? Is eating food with your family pagan? Is giving presents pagan? Is having fun and wishing others joy pagan? Of course, fun and joy are pagan. That's why so many charming people are trying to ruin Christmas. Plenty of good folks out there have addressed the historical roots of many Christmas traditions, some of which do have elements that were once associated with pagan celebrations. Festivals in late December were connected to the winter solstice. But the winter solstice is part of the natural cycle of seasons. It existed before any pagan festivals. God created the winter solstice. So the winter solstice isn't pagan. The pagan simply recognized a feature of God's creation and built festivals around it. Does that make it off limits to Christians? December 25th has been tied to Saturnalia, a winter solstice festival celebrating the Roman deity Saturn. Did you know Saturday is named after Saturn? I guess Christians should ban Saturdays too. Look, originally the word pagan simply referred to people who lived in rural areas. Since Christianity began spreading initially in the cities, the term pagan became associated with peoples who were unreached by the gospel. So one of the big problems with the attitude of our candid Christmas critics is assuming that anything pagans did is anti-Christian. But seriously guys, I'm pretty sure pagans sneezed. So every time I sneeze, is it pagan? Only if I say God bless you. Right, person who told me it's pagan to say God bless you when someone sneezes? Christianity's conquest of cultures wasn't about eradication. It was about redemption. It wasn't a systematic annihilation but a sanctified integration. Remember how the Apostle Paul, who was speaking to the pagans of the day, declared before the Areopagus, Men of Athens, I perceive that in every way you are very religious, for as I passed along and observed the objects of your worship, I found also an altar with this inscription, To the unknown God. What therefore you worship as unknown, this I proclaim to you. The God who made the world, and everything in it, being Lord of heaven and earth, does not live in temples made by man, nor is he served by human hands, as though he needed anything, since he himself gives to all mankind life and breath and everything. And he made from one man every nation of mankind to live on all the face of the earth, having determined allotted periods and the boundaries of their dwelling place, that they should seek God and perhaps feel their way toward him and find him. Yet he is actually not far from each one of us, for in him we live and move and have our being, as even some of your own poets have said, for we are indeed his offspring. Notice that Paul uses one of the pagan altars to begin his gospel presentation and then quotes two of their pagan poets to show them that they had something right. Although the pagans of old were misguided, they rightly sensed the one in whom we live and move and have our being, and their reverence was a good thing, which Christianity reclaimed by redirecting it from lifeless idols to the living God. The connections between Christmas traditions and pagan festivals are actually signs of victory, because they remind us that the light which came into the world outshone all mythologies. That a little over 2,000 years ago, the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and that the world was never the same. That, my friends, is something to celebrate. Merry Christmas to you all. The Lord is come.